Kyle Lowry to Miami. Here we go. I feel like the champ already. I'm a winner. I can feel it when I step up in the building. Man, they know I'm finna kill it. Yeah. Making moves for the tough spot. Ball with no limit. He is Jalen Rose. I'm David Jacoby. We are Jalen and Jacoby. What is it that we, we do? We give the people. What they want. Free agency is officially here. There has been some major moves. Jalen, did the Lakers reach out to you about playing for the veteran minimum? Not yet, but Rob Felica number is in They're my probably, phone. Probably Stay about tuned. To. They're probably Stay about tuned. to. Stay tuned. But we start the show with Kyle Lowry, who got paid by the Miami Heat. They also added P.J. Tucker, re-signed Duncan Robinson. Where do these moves put the Heat in the pecking order of the Eastern Conference in your mind? So it put the Heat in position to give Pat Riley, the godfather, one last run at a title contending team. And you know I've affectionately called them the Miami Mafia for almost two decades now. He's not going to just allow the Nets to have a big three and Giannis to win a ring and then not make moves in the offseason. Hold on. That ring bells. This is a this is a title contending team. This Miami Heat team is a title contending team with Butler, Adebayo, Lowry, and Robinson. They signed four of their five starters yesterday. That's putting all of your chips in the middle of the table. And here's what I want you to always pay attention to. Injuries happen. Mm-hmm. Players having bad seasons happen. And now when you're in the Miami Heat, you're in the conversation of if you can play your best basketball, who's their coach? Uh, who's the Miami Heat Eric coach? Spolstra. Okay, so if I was drafting all of the coaches in the NBA, that would be my guy. I've seen him do everything. I've seen him coach a big three with LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. I've seen him rebuild a roster with D. Wade. I've seen him rebuild this team with... Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo and Duncan Robinson, who wasn't drafted out of Michigan, by the way. Jaylen they got Rose. the largest contract for an undrafted player. Jalen, would you pick this team to beat the Bucks in a seven-game series? No. Would you pick this team to beat the Nets in a seven-game no. series? No. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That doesn't mean that's all don't saying. do moves. You're going to see Dennis Schroeder get paid. You're going to see Jared Allen get paid. You're going to see Dinwiddie probably go to the Wizards. Just because your team isn't the favorite to win it all, that doesn't mean you don't make moves to not only improve your squad, but this is also better for the game. It's better for the league. You saw the money being thrown around. Hey, Tommy, make the money ring. It was like $1.5 billion, <laughs> okay? We affect the deficit in the NBA. And now all of a sudden, each team goes into the season that's made notable moves, that's did things during the draft, and they have promise, Jacoby. Mm -hmm. My Detroit Pistons have promise. Okay? We have motorcade. Well, okay, Kelly the, Lennon. The, the, the Chicago Bulls. They have promise. We'll get to them. I'm just saying, that's why you do these moves. This is terrific for the East. It's great for the game. I can't wait for this season. It is great for the East. It is great for the game. I understand why they do these moves, but they are not going to contend for a title. And that is the question that I ask you. You won't say it. They are not going to contend for a title. So, dog, like, the, the margin is so very slim. Like, I, I just don't think the Nets and the Bucks are, like, so much head and shoulders above them that they don't have Disagree. to play their best in order to beat them. Disagree. I'm, I'm telling you, dog, because they're going to defend. Like, the one thing we're not paying attention to, you're going to show all KD offense, right? You're going to show all Kyrie offense. Show some Harden offense, too. But you know what you ain't going to show? None of them in a defensive stand. That's what none of, not KD do play D. Now they all play improved D. But I'm just saying, that's the identity of the Miami Heat. You add Kyle Lowry, who's going to give you toughness, take charge of sacrifice his body and make threes. Duncan Robinson, the flat-out knockdown shooter type of sniper. We've seen what Jimmy can do. We've seen what Bam can do. I just told you about Eric Spolster. They are going to be in the conversation. So now teams like Philadelphia are like, uh-oh. 
what we gonna do? If yeah, Philadelphia and Boston are now looking, you at see the what East, I'm like, saying? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like we might, we might not, we might not be hosting Game One in the first. And round. remember, Boston was the team that made a few Eastern Conference Finals. Yep. Philly was the team that was starting a process. Neither one of those teams got to the finals with those squads. Miami got to the finals. The Bucks won the championship. So they're knocking on the door, and you know, and you already know that the Nets are anticipated Depends, to win it all Simmons next year. Traded, the Bank of Simmons get traded. no. Oh mm, no. Interesting. Interesting. Well, Jalen. One team that absolutely reloaded that is not the Miami Heat. Okay. Are the Los Angeles Lakers. Jalen, mm -hmm. we know the Lakers got Westbrook, so they have their big three. They didn't have a lot of cap space to fill out the roster, so they <laughs> went and got a lot of veterans. Look at the ages. This looks like one of my pickup runs. Like, these dudes are in their like, late 30s. Jalen Rose, what do you think about all the veterans that they re-added to the roster? Here's what I think about the Lakers veterans. First off, this is not the NFL. That's a sport where their best player, Tom Brady, can be 43, 44 years old and be a Super Bowl favorite. Mm -hmm. How about that? Happy birthday, my brother. But here's the other thing I want to say about the Lakers. This is great for a seven-game series. This is excellent for the playoffs in the big game. Yep. But you know what it's not the best for? The 82-game 82 82 regular, game regular season. season. Yeah, yeah, this be this is not the best thing for an old team. Because there's still 82 <laughs> games to be played, right? Let me see. Eight. Yeah, 82. Two. Yes, that's Got right. it. Eight, okay, so what ends up happening in those 82 games? Seedings get decided. And what happens is for the Lakers, now teams like Denver have a better regular season record. Utah has a better regular season record. No, not the Clippers because they're going to probably deal with Kawhi's injury. But the point is, now we know that they likely, just because of their age, solely because of their age, they likely won't have a number one or two seed. No. I you you, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so now all of a sudden you start dropping into a 3-6 series. And I told you last year when they fell into that series when they were the 7-8, fighting for the last spot. Now all of a sudden I say, wait a minute, I ain't never see the team of 7 for AC win the NBA championship. AD gets um, injured, mm -hmm. they get bounced in the first round. So it's going to be imperative for them. This is why you add Russ, though. This is the main – put the agents back up there. This is the main reason why you have Russ. Because having him, he don't play his age. No. Not during the regular season. No. Especially. And so he going to be putting up jumbo, supersized triple doubles. Whether, especially when one of their big two, LeBron or AD, is out. And when both of them are out, Russ going to win player of the week in the NBA that Russ week. Russ is the words. only one who's going to play more minutes than his age. He's the <laughs> only one on the team that's going to play more minutes than his age. Everybody else is going to be hovering right around 30 in age and minutes. And with this team... You kind of hit today, like, I don't think LeBron and AD are going to play 80 games. No. Like, I think this is going to be a veteran, load-managed team where they put out a different starting five pretty much every single game. Anthony Davis is going to be terrific when he's healthy, mm -hmm. and they're not load-managing him, but I'm thinking that's going to be between 70 and 75 games. If they're lucky. If they're lucky. If they're lucky. And that's what I'm earmarking for LeBron, too. So that 10-12 game window is paramount in seeding. Okay, and this is what makes adding Brody so very important and the speed that he plays with and, and, and the personality that he's going to have playing in front of his home fans. You hope he's going to be a guy that really here helps helps carry your dynamics in a regular season. Still want to see some more shooting. Still want to see time. some more shooting. They got, they got time. Ellington. I, think, I can't believe I'm going to say this. They're going to miss Caruso. They're going to miss Caruso. Yeah, they're going to miss him. He plays great defense. Yeah, they're going to miss him. Playmaker gets out yeah, of transition. I like Caruso. Him. I do too. Well, Caruso ended up Home on run. the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, he did. As did Lonzo Ball. There's a lot of speculation about where Ball would end up. Maybe the Knicks. Maybe he would stay with the Pelicans. Guess what? He's now on the Bulls. Jalen Rose. You know why this is bad news for you? Why? Bulls and the Pistons are going to be fighting for the eighth seed. <laughs> Bulls and the Pistons are going to be fighting okay. for the eighth seed. They got Levine. They got okay. Vucevic. Okay. They got Ball. They okay. got Caruso. Okay. You know, they've got some young players. Okay. Jalen, how do you feel about Lonzo Ball and Caruso? So you got Bulls? bad news for me. I got bad news for you. What's up? They just signed two guys to like um, $100 and like $40, 50000000 million to play in the backcourt. Not good for a Jacoby these days. No, Jacoby White. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. He was sitting at home watching those deals yesterday. Like, those two deals, me ball, don't end up me getting paid here. Yeah. That's just the math. Yep. And he can play. But for the East, again, this is what I'm saying. 
the Chicago Bulls, the Charlotte Hornets, the Detroit Pistons, all of these teams that are going to be possibly vying for the playing game, that's right? A, that's the playing tournament right there, those three teams. That's why you still make the moves, though. Because injuries happen, bad play happens, we just saw a pandemic happen, coronavirus happens, so you just want to stay low and keep firing. And that's what I see the Bulls are doing. They went in with, oh, they went in with um, adding Nurkic. Vucevic. Uh, I mean, adding adding Vucevic to their squad. And so I like that this. I was supposed to put them in the playoffs. Did they, did they play in the playing game? They oh, didn't have wait, time. they did not they play didn't have in the time to jail. Game. They didn't have time to jail. Well, they're going to have to gel this year yeah, because be they've fine. made moves that they, they need to be in the playoffs. They need to be in the playoffs or it's a failure. The Pistons can miss the playoffs. It's okay. You've got to develop Kate. you got to develop Stewart. you got to develop the young players. But the Bulls, with the moves that they've made and the investment that they've put in, they have to make the playoffs. We just sneak up on the world. It's fine. Detroit versus everybody. Jalen, it is time for you and I to break down a video in detail. Let's go to the table. With all of the free agent signings yesterday, there was one basketball player who was discussed more than anyone else, and that was Huka Doncic. <laughs> Huka Doncic. We believe this is in Boston. Hits the hookah, comes out, gets the steal with the right hand, dribbles up with the left, and then the scoop finish. This is why Jalen and Jacoby get a people what they want. Is Jacoby out there? Are you out there, dog? No, this is a little, this is that's in Massachusetts. For my play. That's in Massachusetts. Not yeah. to promote tobacco in any way, shape, or form, but shout to my guy, Huka Doncic. We're going to give you love on the show. I, I, I love Huka Doncic's play so much. He plays up to the camera. He's an entertainer. Yeah, he was out there hitting He's the hookah. He's an hookah. entertainer. Then he went on his uh, honey badger, stole the ball. With the right you hand. You know what I'm saying? Is he right-handed or left-handed <laughs> or what? Like, look at this. Look at this. Steal with the right, and then dribbles up with the left. To the left. It, to like, the left. First of all, not great defense. <laughs> not great. Well, not a great pass if you want to go there too. <laughs> and nobody no back hookah. there. No center fielder back <laughs> there. No you know what I'm saying? Was they punting? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, not a lot of people look like me on that basketball court. Not a lot of people look like me on that basketball court. Jalen Rose. When we come back, we have Trey Young re-signing with. The Hawks. I love Will it. this team compete in the Eastern Conference? They went to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Will they be back? We'll let you know right after this. All of the new players on new teams. There were some teams that just doubled down on the players they already had. One of those are the Atlanta Hawks, mm -hmm. who have committed to that man, Trey Young, who brought mm -hmm. them to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Jalen, what do you think about the five-year, $207 million extension for Trey Young? So it now becomes a pecking order on paper in particular. To me, it's the Nets, the Bucks, and the Heat. And so the teams that have success this year for various reasons, but we're going to make sure we credit Trey Young for his outstanding play and basically putting the league on notice and putting on the show in the playoff. You know how much I love his game and love the Hawks. Mm -hmm. And also Julius Randle, who was this year's most improved player an all-NBA caliber performer. Those two teams, the Boston Celtics, the Philadelphia 76ers, they now become the second tier of the East. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen with the Indiana Pacers? They just added Rick Carlisle. They're going to make some moves. And so now those handful of teams become the second tier. Injuries, COVID, players having breakout years, all of that matters. But Trey Young going to get his money. Yep. You know, but don't sleep. Shea Gilders Alexander got a bag too. He did. Now they're asked to do two different things. Well, I feel good for Trey Young and I feel good for the Hawks because he will always be linked to Luka Doncic because of draft night. Like he will always have this thing. Well, he's not Luka. And he proved last year that, you know what? I might not be Luka. I might not be a future MVP, but I'm a superstar in this league. and I can carry a team in the playoffs two seven game series wins. That's why they're going to need Hunter. And Cam Reddish, two guys that were lottery picks, mm -hmm. to take a leap. You're going to need one of them to take a leap next year. Because if you look at the dynamics of their perimeter play, you got to not only be athletic at that position and, and, and uh, have the ability to score, but, man, there's some monsters coming to town every night that they got to play against. Absolutely. Well, they solidified their point guard position, as did the NBA Finals Western Conference champion, 
Phoenix Suns. They solidified Chris Paul. He signed a four-year, $120 million deal. That's a long, expensive deal for an older player in the NBA. But for Chris Paul, you're paying paying for what you're going to get on and off the floor. And I wouldn't be surprised if when he got done playing that he continued to work within the franchise. That just seems like a Chris Paul type of extension, so to speak, in particular based on his relationship with Monty Williams. And just the quality of a person that he is. Now, the Phoenix Suns probably won't be getting to the finals again in those four years. Probably not. But that don't mean not sign Chris Paul because you still have Devin Booker. You still want to develop Aiton. You want to get some more size with Aiton. That's why you add JaVale McGee because that got exposed during the playoffs. They needed another big. But then you want Bridges to continue to take a leap. You want Cam Johnson to take a leap. You bring back Cam Payne and hope he's going to play some of those minutes and sort of some of those games if Chris Paul is not able to go or he's out because of low management. So this is a smart deal for the Suns, no surprise. He's going to be making around $30 million as a 40-year-old basketball player, Mr. Rose. That's the game now, fam. And you know I always tell people, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you have the leverage to negotiate. And for these NBA players, when you see the kind of money that they're now being made, imagine thinking about what the team is worth or thinking about what the owner is worth. These players are under, you ready for these two words? A salary cap. Think about that. This money is salary cap. We've seen baseball players get this kind of money Mm -hmm. since the beginning of the time. Of course. Now, Jalen, one of the teams that Chris Paul was rumored to be going to was the New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. He did not go to the Knicks. They ended up overpaying Evan Fournier. They had so much cap space. And as a die-easy Knicks fan, I do not love what they did yesterday. So here's what's going to happen this year with the Knicks. They're not going to be as good record-wise as they were last year because the East is just flat out better. Mm -hmm. That's why. It's not because their team isn't as good. They brought back Rose, Burks, and Noel. It's It's because the competition is going to be better. The Nets are going to be healthy. You you anticipate, right? The Mm -hmm. Bucs are the defending champions. We just talked about the Heat. We just talked about the tiers of the other teams. So it's only right to me to do this kind of move. And you say... Don't take care of Fournier. Let me tell you something, sir. When he got to Boston, he caught COVID. Before he got to Boston in Orlando and wherever he's been, he's going to get you almost 20 points per game. And so now you got guys like Derrick Rose and you have quickly. You hope to develop R.J. Barrett and you keep Randall, obviously, and you bring back Mitchell Robinson. You continue to... Uh, invest in the core group of young and Nerlens Noel. You continue to invest in these young guys with tips because with effort and they're going to play hard, they're going to still have in a season that you're going to be excited about. You're still going to be excited about the Knicks next season. I'll be going to the games. I'll be excited. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not as excited as I thought I was going to be after free agency when they had the most salary cap space and they ended up with Evan Fournier and everyone they had. Left. He's a bucket, dog. Jane Lynn. Team USA is going to be playing the Boomers, the Australian team. Team USA beat Spain, so they are now advancing. Do you remember when I told you they wouldn't lose another game and win the gold medal? Yeah. You remember when I said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. But you know what? I can't front. When you said remember what I said, hey, this is, I almost got concussed. Like, I've been doing this for so very long. When you said you remember what I said, I thought you were talking about when you said the Lakers were old, and I thought about Mark Gasol. Because him and Powell had zero points in that game. Mm. So remember that Marc Gasol When y'all start talking About the Lakers next season He's playing right now I think I could beat Marc Gasol yeah, in the foot race He's playing right I now I could beat Marc Gasol And shout to Ricky race. Rubio Who was bought their ball And he had 38 His NBA career high is 34 I haven't seen Marc Gasol sprint In a decade I really haven't Congratulations to Team USA I have them winning The gold medal As I have shout the whole time Shout to KD I never Team doubted USA, you Team USA I never doubted school. you But also shout to Spencer Haywood Who had that team record for Team USA for decades and didn't shoot the three ball. Jalen, all I want to talk about is the locks and dip sets tonight. Dip set, in dip Madison set, Square dip Garden. Set, we dip set versus the locks. Yes. We'll wrap up free we agency. Gonna make and it. We we'll going to make it.